Thank you, not Dean. New at 11 now, a heated debate when it comes to new recommendations aimed at bridging the gap between the Orlando police and the community. Tonight, leaders met to discuss moving forward. News 6's Jerry Askin joins us now live from Orlando Police Headquarters with the details on this. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Matt, that meeting all came down to listening and finding ways to adequately put in place those recommendations. They're starting first here with the Paramore community. And I tell you, residents tonight were vocal about getting results and they want to make sure it's done right. You know, I, I do think there's this opportunity to misunderstand each other. Tasha Robinson Banks wants her neighborhood to be safe, and she's also all for building better police community relations. But I also want the kids to be able to understand when they're in trouble that they still can reach out to the police and that they're not just here to, um, you know, arrest you. She lives and works in Paramore and joined many people at Tuesday evening's meeting at OPD aimed at bridging the gap. And allow those, those, uh, officers, police in the neighborhood to meet with those people periodically. As the Paramore recommendations were read, many residents called for action and accountability. I understand we have to start somewhere, mm -hmm. but we keep starting at the same place. The recommendations include building community trust, exposing kids to more positive police experiences and more. But I want us to be mindful of talking about uh, what the police ain't doing. They're doing some things and I've seen the transition in the mindset. This after a series of community meetings and police training sessions led by nationally recognized law enforcement trainer, Dr. Randy Nelson from Bethune-Cookman University. I think this action plan sets a roadmap for us to be able to do this work. Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone agrees there's more work to be done. To obviously win the trust of our citizens and have our citizens work in collaboration with us to try to achieve what we all want, a better community. Yeah, tonight, Chief Rolone saying there's no set timeline on fully putting in place those recommendations, but it's all a work in progress. There are similar meetings happening also for the Washington Shores and Mercy Drive areas. Of course, we'll keep you posted. We're live here at OPD headquarters. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.